Hi loves, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorite perfumes. Some of them are natural, some of them are not. And um, I kind of go back and forth. A little bit of history behind it is that I try to do stuff that's as natural as possible, but that's not always the case as we know. Um, but I don't purchase any perfumes that are not natural, that are um, mostly with chemicals. The perfumes that you see that have chemicals in them are because someone got me and I actually liked it or um, I've just had it for a really long time so I just kept it. First off, I'm gonna start off with the ones with the chemicals in them. It's this Gucci Flora. And this perfume smells really good. It's sweet and floral and I really like the smell of this. This was a gift to me so I didn't get rid of it because I actually like the smell. So I kept it, it smells really, really good. And it's been through a lot so my bottle's a little beat up. But as you can see, I'm almost out of it. And if you're watching this, no, I don't need another one. Because <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the natural path. Um, so no. Um, I won't be buying this again, but if you like floral scents and you don't mind what's in your perfume, go ahead and check this one out. This one is Dolce Gabbana The One, and this is a men's cologne, and this one I actually did purchase for my late father, and he passed away, so um, he did used to wear this, and you know, every once in a while, I'll just spray some in my wrist and get a whiff of it and it just reminds me of him so it's comforting and so of course I'm holding on to this <laughs> spice it's a spicy musk it's the eau de toilette so um yeah so I like this one just because of that now moving on to my natural perfumes that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis that's the other thing about the ones that I do now these are all my favorites I do have a couple more that have chemicals in them and I use them from time to time um, but the ones with the chemicals in them I try not to use them every day so I love this perfume is, is it Eau de Toilette or the cologne okay um, this is the Lavande from L'Occitane. I think I'm saying that right. Um, so I've loved this smell for a very, very long time. This is more on the natural side. It does have some chemicals in it, but it's not as bad as the other ones that I showed you. But this eye, I feel like they kind of changed up the ingredients in here because I feel like it used to be stronger, like a stronger scent, but um, I still love it, it smells really good, and I use this more often than the other one. I love Pacifica perfume. Now this one, you're probably not gonna be able to read it because the writing is off of it. It's, it's a Malibu Lemon Blossom perfume. I haven't been able to find this anywhere. I think Pacifica might have stopped making it, and I'm a little sad about that because I really, really like it, and I'm all out. There's nothing in this bottle. Another one that I did purchase around the same time that I got that one is the Tahitian Gardenia. It's by Pacifica as well. Hopefully you can see that. I was able to find this again and I actually bought two of these because I don't want to run out of it. So yes, this one smells really good. I love it. It's florally but like not too flowery, it smells really good. I forgot to tell you guys what this one smells like, so. So this Malibu Le Lemon Blossom, it has lemon in it, but it also has a floral scent to it, so it smells flowery, lemony. So, so this is Coral by Skylar. This brand um, is an online brand. Um, I like fruity and florally scents. Not too flowery, not too overpowering, but like a light floral sweet scent. This is it, it smells so good. And this is currently my favorite. It's so funny because on this website, on Skylar, um, this website, you can put in your information, like what do you like and stuff like that, and it'll select a fragrance for you. So I got this fragrance, and at first when I got it, I was like, 
I don't really like it, so it kind of grew on me, but now I love this. I use this pretty much every day, and I got it around Christmas time, I want to say, maybe even January, around that time. Um, but I love it, and I wear it as often as possible. I'm actually wearing it now. And this one is probably one of the cleanest ones out of all of these, really. Um, but it is right around, you know, regular perfume prices, like... 70 bucks I think it is online I'm not sure but um yeah I do want to try some of their other fragrances so I might order something like when I'm out uh, of another fragrance I might order something right now I think I'm pretty good on fragrance so I'm not gonna do that by the way these are in no particular order these are just all fragrances that I love and some of them happen to be natural and some of them don't um, so this one is the Eau de Zoom perfume oil. You're not really going to be able to read that because it just, yeah. <laughs> Me using it and it's the oil is rubbing off the, the ink on there. So this is in lavender. I love anything lavender as you can tell. It smells so good and it lasts, oh it smells so clean. So relaxed. So um, yeah this one, it lasts a little longer. Oh my gosh. I had the coral scent already on and so I added this lavender, it just smells so heavenly. I love, love, love lavender, I love purple, love lavender. So um, anyway, so this one is um, one of my favorites as well. Sometimes I'll wear this before going to bed because it also, because it's made with essential oils, it helps to like help you relax and stuff. Uh, my next favorite one is an empty. And it doesn't have a label because I purchased this from a website called Butters and Bars. And I purchased this years and years and years ago. And I just went to their website and there it looks like they're no longer in business. So um, it was called White Musk Oil. So I'm going to be on the hunt for a White Musk Oil. So if anybody knows a natural White Musk Oil that I can purchase that's not like astronomically priced. Please leave that suggestion in the comment section below. I would love to try it. Um, but this smelled so, so, so good. So, so, so good. And it's a perfume oil, so those tend to last a little longer as well. And like in the duration that it's on your body, as well as as long as it can be in that bottle. So um, I also have the Golden Musk of this and this smells really good too again it doesn't have a label oh, it smells so good. but the white musk was my favorite it smelled so heavenly obviously that's why it's gone i got these at the same time and i'm just now dipping into this one because i liked the other one much better yeah i don't know what happened with butters and bars i used to order with from them and never had an issue and um I think one time I did have an issue, but it got resolved. And as of now, I still, what I used to do is buy five pounds of organic shea butter from them and it would last me like a long time. So the last time I bought five pounds of shea butter, um, probably like over three <laughs> years ago, cause it's in my freezer. Um, I don't use shea butter as much as I used to. I used to be really into DIYing and making my own shea butter and making my own shea butter mixes, hair mixes and all that. Then I stopped somewhere along the way. I need to get back to that by the way. Um, so I can get back into my real, real naturalista stuff. But for now, um, that's on pause. Um, so yeah, I don't know what happened with them. Hopefully there's another similar company that sells stuff that's similar because I used to get black soap from them I used to get um, I think I got a lip gloss from them one time they used to have a lot of stuff and they were like popping so I'm kind of sad to see that the website is no longer there but hey what can you do yeah those are all my favorite perfumes my favorite fragrances if you have any questions um, feel free to leave them in the comment section below um, as far as chemicals go in your fragrances, I would suggest you research that so you can find out what's in your stuff. Anything you put on your skin, you want to know what's in it. 
I don't want to get into that because it could be a whole huge debate and ain't nobody got time for that. You gotta do what's right for you, what's, what works for you. I used to really, 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 really be conscious on what I was putting on my body. I'm not as conscious. I mean, I am conscious. I just don't do what I used to do anymore because I got lazy along the way. I don't know. I got lazy and life happened okay so i'm not as on top of it as i used to be but i want to get back to it so i might be soon but i'm not gonna just trash everything that i have i'm gonna use it up so if you thank you so much for sticking with me through this video and my little rant <laughs> and hopefully you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up go ahead and turn on your notification bell if you're not getting notifications of my new videos go ahead and click the notification bell off and then click it back on i've been hearing that youtube was doing this new thing and people's notification even though the notification bell was on people's videos still weren't showing up so go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on so that way you can get my videos that should do the fix and again don't forget to subscribe to my channel love you guys until next time bye